What a matchup we have to get the weekend started. The defending national champions, eighth ranked LSU, taking on the number one team in the country, 20 and three, Arkansas. And coming into this season, there was plenty of buzz. Had started some over the first two years, now thrust into this Friday night role. Well, he's been the best in the league. 62 strikeouts, that's tops in the SEC. He's already got a couple of wins against LSU, including one out of the bullpen. And a strike three called to sit down Ethan Fry. Greg and Smith. 1-2 to Pearson. Back-to-back -back Ks, one look and one swing it. And he launches this one on a line to right center. Wilmsmeyer makes the play. Three up, three down, including a couple of strikeouts. Hagen some really good bat-to-ball skills in practice. Trying to come on late, that is a great sign to pick up a one-out walk. We were walking right towards it. Runner goes, and a ball lined into right center field. Aloy on his way to third. Jackson Kling scoops it up. Pardon me, that's, it is Kling in fact, but it's a single for McLaughlin, and Arkansas's got something cooking here in the first. Ground ball to short. Braswell goes to second for one. Milan on his way to first, and Arkansas held off the scoreboard thanks to only the... Chopped up the middle. Long run, scooped up by Alloy, and a little bit late. Swing and a miss for Milan. First him at Hoover last year and in the regular season. Off the mound, smothering stop at second by Stovall. That is what Dave Van Horn calls him the best second baseman in college baseball. Plays like this. Peyton Stovall goes backhand and takes it himself. Hasn't made an error all year at second base. He gets the A couple of outfielders, and Wilmsmeyer sends a sinking line drive to right. That'll drop for a knock. Wilmsmeyer reaches that turn. Knew it. Taken all the way, and he takes ball four. Two on and only one out. And there's ball four. LSU's already turned one tonight. And he launches this one deep right field. It is into the wind and at the fence, hauled in by Kling. Tagging from third is Wilmsmeyer. He'll score easily. And Arkansas is on the board, but LSU's lucky that Mother Nature kept that one in the park. Third on opening day for this Arkansas program. And he sends a ground ball to third. Tommy White gathers. And retires Sprague Lott. Could have been a lot worse. Arkansas is threatened to fall away, and he just drives it. And he gets a breaking ball and lofts it towards left field, deep in the corner, and gone! And Tommy White has even this game with a solo home run. And for Hagen Smith, the first run allowed in SEC play. Kept fair to tie it up. Hey, Travinsky launches this one deep to right field. Digs out of room. Back to back home runs for LSU. And the Tigers take a two to one lead here in game number one. And they've done it against Hagen Smith, who had only allowed two home runs all season. And Travinsky was absolutely hunting fast. Line to short off the mitt of Aloy. And Braswell keeps it rolling. Three hits in the last four batters for LSU against Hagen Smith. I want to bing him. A little half swing. Smith will take it himself. And that will close the inning, but not before LSU got a hold of a couple. Small town Kansas talking with Nate before the game today. This one smoke deep left field. Bing him to the fence, and it is gone into the hog pen. And we are tied. Ball four. I don't know if it's a house of signs. Having to try to hide your signs. And this one's flicked into center field for a base hit for Wilmsmeyer, who is two for two in this one. Out of high school. Number one prospect in the state turned down big money. And he lasers one to right field. That'll get at least one home. White scores. Wilmsmeyer stopped at third. And Arkansas back in front. One, two. 
tipped it in the catcher's mitt for a strikeout, but Arkansas jumps back in front. Bam. Here's the 3 2 to cling. And it gets punched out. He thought it was ball four, two pitches prior. Swing and a miss on the slider. Hagan Smith didn't like the initial pitch call from Hudson White. He shook to the slider, and he shakes his way to eight Ks through five. Ball four puts McLaughlin on to start the fifth. You could find yourself in Omaha. Strike three call. Braswell knew it. Hard carrying student members last calendar year. Would not want to be the club for that one. <laughs> White drew a walk his last time up, sends a ground ball up the middle. McLaughlin being waved home from third by Nate Thompson. The throw goes to third, and he is out at the plate to end the inning. And they say the run did not cross in time. Dave Van Horn says, we got to take a look at this. David Ewell says the out was made at third before McLaughlin came across the plate. Insisted that LSU come back to the field. And the announcement was just made. PA system didn't have it. And that will bring it close to the inning. No runs scored. Arkansas clings to a 3 to 2 lead. Shot the opener against James Madison and three solo home runs. That's it. And the one against James Madison, wind aided. And this one's lined to right center field. Wilmsmeyer on the run, comes up empty, and Travinsky is on the board. With a two out single. Dig. Here's the 2 2 to Jared Jones. Swing and a miss on the slider. That is K number nine through six innings. Last year, Stovall was preseason first team all conference. A preseason All American was injured with shoulder, missed the whole year. Sends it to the gap. And after a wide turn, a retreat to first. Two out single. It's his second hit of the game. Flip, right? If it was a 3 to 2 LSU lead, you're seeing different guys out of the pen. A little roller up the middle. Braswell boots it, and everybody's safe. And the inning continues. Pitch to McLaughlin. Chopper to the right side. Milam was placed perfectly, and that will close the sixth inning again. Now he gives the right hander Will McIntyre, who has been phenomenal out of Arkansas's bullpen this year. How about 32 strikeouts and three walks, 28 and two-thirds innings. Four straight scoreless appearances for McIntyre. Goes right back to it. Two One down. And sends a breaking ball into center field. Wilmsmeyer dives. It comes up empty again. Behind him, it's picked up. And it's a one-out double for Mac Bingham, his second hit of the game. 2-2 to Larson. In there for strike three. Swing and a miss and one in the dirt. And McIntyre allowed the one-out double, but that was it. Time to stretch in Fanville. Hawks lead by one. He's part of the Little League World Series in 2014. And he lined this one in his center field. Lead-off single. Do you remember? 3 1 to White. Upstairs, ball four. Ball four loads the bases. Low and away, and he walked in an insurance run. Wilmsmeyer picks up an RBI, and Arkansas leads 4 to 2. Swing and a miss. What a performance by Cam Johnson. Is the one two. Pearson chase it in the dirt. That is strikeout number five. The throwdown finishes it off. Line drive into left center for White. He's got a two out single. He can just flat out hit. Field denied again, and it's ball four to Travinsky. Laser to left field. Tommy White will be waved home. The throw, Edmondson comes into third, and we've got a one-run game. 
starter. And he's been a reliever. Now he's trying to get him to the ninth. Swing and a miss by Braswell. And LSU gets one across, but strands two more. He was the number one shortstop in the state. Those guys know where Hunter is. Probably two knocks. Oh. <laughs> Four pitch walk. Four five innings. Whoa, this ball is absolutely launched. Three run home run for Kendall Biggs. One on one off the bat. Lead. And it was over 11,000 that showed up to start. Most of them still here, and I think he knew it. He knew he knew it. Immediately looked to the bench, right hand clenched as he went to first base, and that is uh, some big three insurance runs right there. Who would say that? That is a 17th strikeout for LSU batters tonight. Seventh. Has allowed Arkansas to save Gackle. Well, at least for the time being. One out walk. And Milam rips this one down the line. That is a fair ball. Larson on his way to third. They're going to wave. Now nope, pull it on the stop sign. And LSU's got two in scoring position with one out in the ninth. Kicked all the way to the dugout. Pass White and Lucky didn't go into the dugout. Got him up high. Two down. So here's left-hander Stone Hewlett, the senior from Leewood, Kansas, has only allowed one earned run all season. Payoff. Strike three called. And on the 19th strikeout of the night, Dillon picks up his first save, and Arkansas preserves a game one victory. Pretty complete. I think Arkansas showed you some depth in that bullpen tonight, too. McIntyre comes in, gets eight outs, all strikeouts. Stone Hewlett gets his first save of the year with a strikeout himself. Arkansas wins game one. 